All right, everybody, welcome to this video. Um, I am making a video so I can show you where to go to access your NWEA learning path. Um, so what this learning path is, is um, it took your MAP assessment, um, and you may have taken that a long time ago or maybe just recently, and it kind of determined the areas that you might need a little bit more support in, and it is going to help you work on some of those skills and those standards. So I'm just going to show you. It's a lot easier. So you're going to log in, and then you will, over on the left-hand side where you see my classes, you'll click on that. And then right here it says my NWEA map learning path. So you'll click on view assignments. And so then you have one for reading and you also have one for math because you remember we took both of those. So if we look at this student for reading, um, she is a second grader. So you can see that all of, our, all of her topics are on a second grade level. Um, that two right in front lets you know that it's a second grade level. So she does not have any topics that are below grade level. Um, and it's fine if you do, but sh this child does not um, at this time. We're going to go back and we're going to look at, um, go back to view. We're going to go to her reading topics. Um, and so a same thing, you can see that she's working on mostly on a second grade level. But if you come down here, you can see that she's actually, uh, some of these areas is working on a fourth grade level. That's what that four means, okay? Um, so what I want you to do is when you log in, you're going to go to my classes and then choose your assignments. And I want you to look, and I want you to find the ones that are below your grade level. So if you're in fifth grade and you see skills that are um, like a third grade level, second grade, or fourth grade level, then I want you to work on those skills because they will be working at that grade level, which will help you to work at your grade level. So don't get all upset about it. It's just going to help you to eventually work up to your grade level. Here's the deal, guys. You have to, It's like building blocks. You have to have a good foundation to be able to build on top of something, right? So if you didn't really have a teacher that taught, you, taught it to you well in third grade, a certain skill or standard, then it's going to be hard for you to work on something at a fifth grade level, right? So we've got to build that foundation at the third grade level or whatever grade level and then continue to build upon it. So you will just choose, and if and everybody should be working in Study Island. So if you haven't, you really need to start doing that. Um, my suggestion would be to go through the um, lesson. The lessons are pretty brief, but um, go through the entire lesson, okay? Some of them include videos. You need to make sure you're watching those videos, guys. That's important. You want to watch those videos. And then when you see, here's a movie right here. So you want to make sure that you are taking the time to watch this movie. Is it, you know, some of them kind, are some of them kind of silly? Yeah, probably, but it's going to help you. And then you'll go to the practice. Now, the point is to earn a blue ribbon. Remember, to earn a blue ribbon, you have to make a 70% or better. If you take a practice and you do not make a 70% or better, you're going to have to do it again, okay? Now, each time it's going to give you different questions, so make sure you're going through that lesson. It's really important that you guys do that. <clears throat> Excuse me. So what I want you to do is make sure that you're working at this in this learning path for right now, okay? And then we will get back into working on the standards um, on your grade level. All of your standards on your grade level have to be done by March 31st. So we're going to get through these skills or standards that you might have that are below grade level. And then we'll work on skills that are on your grade level until March 31st. All right, so let me know if you have any questions um, or if you don't have your learning path, and I will do my best to help you.
All right, talk to you guys later.